What is going on? My name is D, and in this video and by request, I'm gonna show you how to make your YouTube channel art or your channel banner using a free app called PixArt that's available for both iOS and Android. And if you're new to the channel and you wanna learn how to master your mobile, make better content on your phone and be a mobile YouTuber, hit that subscribe button followed by the notification bell so you don't miss out on future videos. Now let me show you how to make that banner using PixArt. Now in order to make this work, you need to download the template that I'm gonna put a link to down in the description below. That's gonna be the template that we're gonna load up right here and you're gonna see what it looks like as soon as I tap on it and open it up. This is your channel banner template. And the way this works is what you see here on the full image is what you see if you view it on a TV. So if I zoom in, you're gonna see the size is 2,560 pixels by 1,440. That's what people see if they're viewing on a TV. If they're viewing on a desktop, you're gonna see the size for that, on a tablet, and on a desktop, minimum, and mobile. What we're gonna focus on today is the mobile because this is what a lot of people are gonna be looking on. And of course, you can expand as much as you want. If you wanna expand it all the way out to the desktop max or the tablet, that's entirely up to you. But for this tutorial, we are going to focus on the mobile center area, which is the darkest area with a size of 1,546 by 423. So what we wanna do for the very first thing is come down to the tools icon down on the bottom left, tap on that and go to resize. And what's gonna happen is it's gonna show you the size that it actually is. If you do not see 2,560 by 1,440, you need to correct this before you continue. Now this part is critical and you need to make sure that the size is correct. If you skip this part, what's gonna happen is when you upload the final image to YouTube, it's probably gonna be too small and then you're gonna go down, you're gonna leave a comment and you're gonna say, D, it didn't work, it's too small. And I'm gonna say, user error, you didn't follow instructions. So make sure this size is correct so everything lines up when you put it online. So now that the size is set, we wanna scroll down in the tools all the way over to draw. We're gonna tap on that and it's gonna take us to another area. What we wanna do is find a color that we wanna to use to fill in some of this image. So on the bottom left, you're gonna tap on this icon down here, it's a square, and a color palette's gonna open. I'm gonna choose one of these blues. I'm gonna hit the check mark on the top right, and then over on the right, you're gonna see a little square with a circle behind it. We're gonna tap on that, and it's gonna open up this option setting. I wanna tap on the square, I wanna make sure the fill is set, and then I'm gonna tap on OK. Now I'm gonna zoom out just a little bit, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my finger, push down on the bottom, and as I drag along, it's gonna draw a square, and I'm gonna bring it right up to the bottom here, just like that, and I'm gonna tap off, and I'm gonna do the exact same thing for the top. Just like that. Now as you can see, if I zoom in, actually that's pretty good, but if yours did not make the line perfectly, you can just make another one and just keep building it on top until it's perfect. I'm okay with this. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go to the check mark on the top right. I'm gonna tap on that and it's gonna take us back to where we started. Now I'm gonna add some effects to this image. I wanna add a little bit of texture to it, a little bit of an overlay. So I'm gonna go to mask and it's gonna load a bunch of masks that come with PixArt. So you can scroll through them and you can tap on them and you can see what happens here. You see now as I tap these and as I move along, it changes. And I'm just actually, I like that one. I'm gonna keep that one right here. So I'm gonna tap on the top check mark on the right. And this is our image that we're gonna start with. So I wanna save this to my gallery on my phone because we're gonna work on a second image now. To do this, I'm gonna go to the top right to the white arrow. I'm gonna tap on that. And then down on the bottom, I'm gonna tap on save. Going to the bottom again, I'm gonna save the picture to my device. Then on the top right, I'm gonna tap on done. And this brings me right back to the beginning to where we can work on another image. Now let me pause for just a second because I'm curious what you're currently using to make your channel banner with or your channel art. So go down and leave a comment below. Let me know what you're currently using as well as what you're using for your thumbnails. I read every single comment and I reply to as many of them as I can. And when this video is over, I'm gonna go down there and carry on the conversation. Now the next image that we're gonna work on is the center mobile area. We're gonna build this up, then we're gonna place it inside of the first graphic that we worked on. So we're gonna go back down, tap on the plus, but only this time we're gonna go over to draw, and we're gonna tap on start drawing, and up on the very top you're gonna to see some size options. We're gonna tap on custom, 
and this is the size that you want. 1,546 by 423. This is a center area for a mobile safe channel banner. We're gonna tap on OK. Then we're gonna tap on the purple arrow on the top right. So this is the image that we have to work with now. This is where we're gonna build any images, we're gonna build any text here that we want, any social media icons, whatever you want, it's going to go in this area. Now I've prepared an image that I wanna drop in here. So what I wanna do is go down to the bottom right and tap on this little square with a plus on it. That's gonna allow me to load a photo. And I'm gonna go find the image that I downloaded earlier. Now, if you look at the top here, you can see that it's a lot larger. It's 3,488 by 1,000. That's fine, I can resize it once I drop it in. So I'm gonna go up here to the top right, tap on the check, and it's gonna drop it in. What I wanna do is grab one of these corners and just stretch it out, just like this. And I'm gonna move myself all the way over to the edge, right about there, and then I'm gonna tap off. Now, if you accidentally tap off before you're moving this, on the top left here, you see the little curved arrow, tap on that, it's gonna erase it, and you can go back and choose the photo again. So I'm happy with this. Now what I wanna do is I'm gonna get rid of this white extra area here. So I'm gonna go back down to the color palette, which is the bottom left. I'm gonna tap on that. Once again, I'm gonna tap on the eyedropper, and then I'm gonna move this target here to the color that I wanna paint. So I obviously don't want white, I want it blue. So I'm gonna put it right to the edge of blue there. And you see down on the corner, it's turned blue. Then I'm gonna come over here to the square and the circle, which is the shape, so I'm gonna tap on that. I'm gonna make sure that I choose a square and it's a fill. I'm gonna tap okay, and then I'm gonna use my finger and I'm just going to draw a square to fill this in, just like that, and I'm gonna tap off. And when I'm finished, I'm gonna go up to the white arrow, tap on that, and I'm gonna save this image to my device. And then I'm gonna hit done. Now this brings us right back to the first page again, so we're gonna tap on the plus one more time, we're gonna tap on edit, and find the background image that we started with. We're gonna tap on that, then we're gonna scroll over to the right until we see add photo. Then we're gonna go find the photo that we just worked on with the image that I just added. Now, as you can see, it dropped it in. It's kind of small. I can grab this little arrow and I can zoom it right in. Now I'm using two fingers to pinch and zoom. That's how you zoom in and you zoom out. So now that I have the image lined up exactly how I want it, I'm gonna go back to draw because I actually forgot to add something. So I'm gonna scroll back over I'm gonna to go to draw, and I'm gonna zoom in, just like this. I'm gonna choose a color again. I'm gonna use the eyedropper, and I'm gonna choose the color of my shirt. I'm gonna to go to the shapes and make sure I have a filled square. Then I'm gonna draw a little image just like this. Okay, so now I have that in place. I'm gonna go back, tap on the check on the top right. It's gonna take us right back to this area, and I'm gonna to start to add my text. So I'm gonna scroll over until I find the text icon, which is in the bottom here. I'm gonna tap on that, and then I'm gonna add some text. Okay, so it's dropped my text in here. It's larger than I want it to be, so I'm gonna resize it by pinching and zooming and trying to get this thing centered up in here until it looks something like this. Okay, I'm happy with that, so I'm gonna add another line of text. So what I wanna do is go up to the top center, tap on the plus, and tap on text. And I'm gonna add more text. Now for this tutorial, I'm just gonna add mobile stuff. You add whatever you want. And by the way, you can add whatever you want here. You don't have to copy this exactly. Add squares, add circles, add text, don't add text. Whatever you wanna do, this is entirely up to you. So now I have my text in here, and I don't like the actual font, so I'm gonna come through here, and I'm gonna change the font. Try to get this lined up here. Okay, I like that. I'm gonna tap on it again, and I'm gonna change the color. For this, I want a bright blue, maybe. Okay, I like the color. Now here's something else you can do, though. If you come down to the bottom, you can see stroke, so if you tap on the stroke, you can actually change the thickness of the stroke or you can change the color of the stroke. I'm going to put this about right there. And if you wanna add a drop shadow, you come over to the shadow icon, you tap on that. Now because my stroke is a little bit thick, you won't see it unless I change the position. So I wanna come over to position and I'm gonna hit these little arrows until it starts to move. And you see it coming in there just a little bit. Just like that. Okay, mobile stuff with D. Nimmin. I like where this is going. I'm gonna add one more thing down on the bottom here. 
And to do that, I'm gonna go back up to the top center, tap on text again, uploads Sundays and Thursdays. I'm gonna come up here, wow, that is really small, so I'm gonna grab the corner here. I'm gonna to try to move this down. Here we go. Okay, mobile stuff with Dean Nimmons, uploads Sundays and Thursdays. I'm gonna make this the same color that this background is on here. Now, I'm a little off center here, but I'm okay with that because my hand's in the way. But I'm gonna zoom out and see how it looks overall. And I'm, I'm liking where it's going, but we do need to do something with these side areas. So I'm gonna to go to the top, I'm gonna to tap on the check on the right, and I'm gonna go back to draw. I'm gonna zoom in, and I wanna choose a color, so back down to the corner, I drop, and I want the color of the background. Then I'm gonna go back to shape, make sure it's fill, I'm gonna drag my finger in here and just fill this up. Just like this. Now, as you can see, I'm having some problems here getting into covers. That's okay, you just keep doing that and you can just keep building layers and it will keep making them. There we go. And then I'm gonna do it right here again on the bottom. Okay, I like how that looks. So we're gonna go back to the top on the right, tap on the check. It's gonna take us back to this area. And if you wanna add anything else or any other designs on here, that's fine, do whatever you want, run wild. It's your channel banner, do whatever you want. But for this tutorial, this is enough. So I'm gonna go back to the top right to the white arrow. I'm gonna tap on that and I'm gonna go down to the bottom and hit save and save the picture to my device. And then tap done up here on the top. Now, if you're new to all of this and starting out with a blank slate is intimidating, I made a video using Canva.com and I'm gonna put a link to it right there and Canva is also an app. It's basically a template-based system that allows you to make thumbnails or channel banners using pre-made templates. So you basically you go in, you change the fonts, you can use their images or use your own. It's entirely up to you and it's really easy to use. So if you're not feeling this one, be sure to check out my Canva video. Okay, so now we've made our channel art and good job by the way, that looks awesome. Let me show you how to upload it to YouTube and to do this, you're gonna need the YouTube app, not the YouTube Studio app, but the actual YouTube app, the one that you watch videos on. It's really easy, it just takes a couple steps, so follow along and let's get it online. So once you have the YouTube app open, you wanna to go to the top right to your profile image. You wanna tap on that. You wanna to go to my channel. Once your channel loads, you're gonna see the little gear icon right here. You wanna tap on that. Then it's gonna allow you to change your description, your name, your profile icon, or your channel banner. And over here on the far right, you see a little photo icon. We're gonna tap on that to upload our new channel banner. So now I've tapped on that and I'm gonna go hunt down the complete image that we just made inside of PixArt. Once it loads up, I'm gonna grab two fingers and I'm gonna position it into place and zoom it in just like this. Then I'm gonna hit save. It's gonna take a couple of seconds to upload the image and refresh then your channel art should load up. And if it doesn't, just back out, do a refresh on your channel and watch it load up there. Now, as you can see here, after the page refresh and my banner loaded up, my profile icon covers some of the text on my channel banner. So keep that in mind when you're putting this all together. I'm actually not gonna redo this because this is a test channel, but for you, if this is something that you're gonna keep up on your channel, this is something that you wanna be aware of. It's not a deal breaker, it's just something to keep in mind as you're building the channel banner. Thank you so much, I do appreciate it. If this is your first time here and you wanna learn how to master your mobile, make better content on your phone or be a mobile YouTuber, hit that subscribe button followed by the notification bell so you don't miss out on anything. And I'll see you in the next video.